Hey everybody. So today is going to be a teeny tiny unboxing. Um, I got in an order from so that High Country Gardens. I had gotten a gift certificate um, back in April for Admin's Day from my boss to High Country Gardens. I'd never heard of them before, so I got online and looked at all the plant selections they had. Um, and they had two things that I've always wanted and I can't seem to find around here um, in Southeast Texas, not in any of the nurseries I've been to anyway. I'm sure there's specialty nurseries that might carry it, but I'm so excited. So I started to open the box, you know, and I got a little peek of what's inside and I'm like, wait, let me get the camera. This should be, this should be a little unboxing. So I only got two um, different plants, um, but I got several, several of each one. And when I first opened the box, What's peeking through, as you can see that green right there, that's a Helen Von Stein lamb's ear. I don't, I'm super excited about that one. So let's see what's inside the box here. So we have a planting guide. So that will come in handy on how to be successful because I definitely want these to live. I've waited since April for these to come in the mail. Um, when I had selected my plants and went through checkout and um, down at the bottom it said ship date October 5th through 9th I'm like what <laughs> okay I will wait all summer for these plants to arrive so this is kind of a nice surprise it's really nice all right so we have the planting guide and then this is just a packing list so I have three of the Helen Von Stein lamb's ear the Stacky. So I'm going to take this one out because that's the one I can see most of the foliage. And I have no idea how to open this. Just, oh, maybe take it from the bottom. That seems safer than taking it from the top. Some of the leaves are already torn a little bit. Are there instructions on how to take this out of the box? No. No, that's what to do after you get them out of the box. Okay. Pop that out. These little things. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a little red. It's so tattered. It's tattered, but it's so soft. And these leaves are huge. So I first saw this plant in um, Laura with Garden Answers Garden. She had the Helen Von Stein lamb's ear, and it was in a, a a border, you know, that had kind of a, a stone edge. And these lamb's ears were just glorious spilling over this is so nice so fluffy all right let's see how the rest look so i got three of these a bit of dirt falling still kind of moist though. It's not bad. Nice. Looks good. These are beautiful. Oh, and there is a tag. There it is. Lamb's ear. Stackies, Byzantia, Helen Von Stein. So, there's that. This is so fun. This is so fun. Okay, and then there's one more.
Okay. The third one. This one has a little bit of browning on the tips. I don't, I don't like this. Yeah, this one had a rougher ride than the others. And see, there's some browning. I don't know if you can see that. There's some discoloration there. And on the, there. You can see that. So it's a little brown. Got some. You know, maybe this one got too dry somewhere. And it's um, a little smooshed. This one did not fare so well. It's still kind of moist. All this browning must have happened before it was packed and shipped to me. You got some tearing, but it's okay. They're a little rough, but I mean, it's fall. I'm gonna get these in the ground um, and they probably won't do much. I still need to read up more on them and how they do in this area. Um, I did just a, a brief search and they said in this area to give them some afternoon shade, like not full sun all the time. So I think I have a place for them on the corners um, around this back porch here where we have the, the moss rock border. I'm thinking somewhere on near the points because those two points get the most sun um, during the day. Um, but because this is kind of northeast in the late late afternoon um well in for a majority of the afternoon they'll be in shade and then they'll get sun one more time um when it passes the house and gets towards you know getting ready to set then it'll hit those points again all right i am so allergies and ragweed right now i'm so puffy and snotty so i apologize my second plant that I've wanted and have not been able to find around here. Not that they don't have it, I haven't been able to find it. But it is a catmint. It is a Walker's Low Nepeta. I could have sworn I got cat's pajamas. Apparently I got Walker's Low, which is fine. It's fine. I'm excited. I got five of these. So let's see. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put these either. I bought them because I wanted them. Oh, they're tiny. Look at that. I know when I saw this box and I saw how tiny and flat it was, I'm like, there's no way all my plants are in there. I bet they're bare root. They sent me a bunch of bare roots. But no, these are potted plants. And they're a little smushed. That's a little smushy. This is barely moist, so I need to get this watered. And the box said, it said open, what, please place, live plants, please place in the shade, open right away. So when I put these outside, I will put them in a protected area. Um, I think it should be pretty cloudy today. Um, we had, um, some outer rain bands from Hurricane Delta. A lot of hurricanes graze us this year. No direct hits. Poor Louisiana. Man, they've just been getting hammered. You know, and we're just right across the border, not far away. And so we get the rain bands and we get the rain. It was windy yesterday. It was very windy. Um, but man. Anyway, it should be overcast again today. Um, and of course, summer's pretty much over for us. We've been pretty cool. We did warm up the last couple of days, but we have another cold front coming Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. So these should be okay outside. They shouldn't get stressed. I mean, this is the best time in our area to get plants planted and in the ground because it's not so hot. Um, and plants aren't gonna suffer while they're trying to get their roots in the ground and get established. So let me move this out of the way. So, these are very small, very small, itty bitty. 
but I think the Walker's Low, I think the name is a little misleading. I think these get fairly good size. I'm gonna have to look that up. And you can see some browning on the tips there where they've like whacked these back, I guess, to fit in the box. There's some, they just kind of snipped them, snapped them. Just, anyway. Hmm. Oh, tag. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Catmint Nepeta Walker's Low. Look at that. Ooh, that is a deep, dark, rich indigo purple. Oh, here we go. On the back of the tag, duh. Uh, plant space, 18 inches apart. Plant height, 18 to 24 inches. So that's a good size. That's almost two feet tall. Bloom color is blue purple. Bloom time, at late spring to summer. So that's that there. Walker's low. Now the uh, Helen Von Stein. Let's see what's on the back of that tag because I didn't do that. Okay. Stackies, Byzantia, Helen Von Stein. I don't have my glasses on. Um, plant space, mm -mm. 15 inches, plant height, eight inches. Yeah, yeah. Low and low and spreading. Just want it to, I just want it to flop over those stones out there. It's gonna be so beautiful. Not blooming, but I did see some uh, um, photos where it does bloom, but I think you're supposed to cut those bloom stalks off if they do show up because um, the pictures that had this in bloom it's like the leaves tended to shrink and just kind of not be so large and lovely. So I will be uh, clipping off any blooms if it does bloom. All right. So let's have a look at the rest of the Walker's Low. I think they're all going to look pretty much the same. Just little, little short fluff. Oh, this one. Is that dirt or browning? Ooh. This one is very small, and there's a lot of browning right here. It's very, this one's very moist, maybe a little too moist. That's okay, it's okay. I've never ordered plants online. I've never ordered plants online or done an unboxing, so I don't know what to expect. I just wasn't expecting that. I tease this out. See, some is longer, longer than others which I could try to um, make a cutting and root that, and then I'd have more, I don't know. Oh, that smells. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I knew they had a smell. Why am I being dumb? It's because it's early in the morning. I'm still tired. I haven't had coffee. What is it? It's like 8.30 or 9 in the morning. I was up too late last night. Mm. Oh, that does smell good. Okay, I like that. It's very minty, cat mint. I need to make coffee, which I will do that as soon as I finish this. Ooh. Yeah, these just look all just all curled up. I'm suit. I'm sure once I get them outside. Um in the shade for a few hours, they may unfurl, you know. Yeah, stretch their legs a little bit. But some of these longer whips, cause it looks like they did just kind of shear it off before sticking it in the box. Some of the longer bits, I may just try to go ahead and root those um, in my office. Yeah, but these are, I'm so excited, this is fun. This is fun and I, I'm not even mad that I had to wait for these. Because this is a nice little surprise. And I may order things again from them because they had some really cool salvias. Um, lots of fun things. So I'm going to have to um, get back on their website. I know other people um, are very familiar with High Country Gardens. And I think I've heard it mentioned on some YouTube channels. I just never really paid attention. Um... But now that I've ordered from them, um, I'll probably go back and order some more things. You know, things that I can't find around here because I don't think these were expensive. I got a $50 gift card. 
um, from my work. And so I was able to get, what, five, six, seven, eight, eight plants. And I think with shipping, I still had to pay like $13 out of pocket, which is not horrible. So 50, 60, uh, let's just say $70 for these plants. So roughly about $10 a piece. That's about what they were. Um, it's not horrible, but I prefer to pick out my own specimens, you know, at the nursery. You know, I pick the exact ones I want that look, have the right look and have the leaves in the right configuration. But this is fun too. And if it's not available around here, I can't find it. I, I think I'll certainly order from them online. So, and that's the last one. Same with them. Um, I guess all of them have it now that I'm looking closely. Just a little bit of browning where they had uh, snipped the tips. You know, just kind of sheared it back. Chelsea Chop. Even though it's not time for Chelsea Chop. Okay. Well, this was super fun. I may still run a little bit of water through these and then place them outside. And then um, hopefully soon I will be planting these in the ground. It's real exciting. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.